open the six latches raise the top of the inlet up and lock it upright Loosen the four plastic nuts, then remove the TE-3000 cartridge. Place the TE-5035 adapter plate on the filter holder and snug down the four plastic nuts. With the TE5028 calibrator opened all the way, install the calibrator onto the TE5035 adapter plate. Install the black tubing on the calibrator. Open the shelter door, take the TE5030 water manometer and loosen the valves. Tighten the valves down by one thread and install on the shelter. Connect the tubing to one side of the manometer and leave the other side open to the atmosphere. Open the TE5009 flow recorder and remove the black pen cap. Unplug the motor from the flow controller and plug the motor directly into line power. Turn the knob on the calibrator clockwise so that the chart on the recorder reads 50 CFM. You may have to knock on the recorder so the pen moves freely on the chart. You can use a flathead screwdriver to turn the pen on the chart to mark a line. Next read the manometer. One side will go up and the other side will go down. You will need to add both numbers together to get the correct manometer reading. Slightly turn the knob on the calibrator clockwise. Using the screwdriver, turn the chart drive clockwise to get another line reading. After you get a chart reading, take another manometer reading. You will need to repeat this process at least three more times for a five point calibration. We recommend doing seven points in case you need them in the future. Unplug the motor from the power source, then plug the motor back into the flow controller. Replace the cap on the pen of the recorder and close the recorder.
remove the black tubing from the manometer and calibrator. Tighten the valves on the manometer, then remove the calibrator from the adapter plate. Then remove the adapter plate from the filter holder. Replace the TE3000 cartridge and tighten down the four plastic nuts. Make sure the plastic washers are on top. Unlock the PM10 inlet and place it down on the bottom pan. Refasten the six latches. Go to www.tish-enb.com and select Calibration and Calibration Worksheets. Next, select TE6070 Calibration Worksheet. Open the Excel spreadsheet and select Enable Editing. Scroll to the top and enter your location and site ID. Next, enter the date the calibration was performed. Then you'll enter in the barometric pressure in inches of mercury. In our example, it was 29.52 and our temperature was 71 degrees. Scroll down to calibration orifice and enter in your model and serial number. In our example, our serial number of our calibrator is 2870. Enter in the Q-Actual Slope and Intercept from the Calibration Certificate. Our slope is 1.03680 and our intercept is negative 0.02696. And you'll enter the calibrator's due date which is February 9th of 2019. Scroll down to Calibration Data and enter the Inches of Water. Our first reading was 5.10, our second was 3.85, our third was 3.70, our fourth was 3.30, and our fifth was 2.70. Next, enter the corresponding chart readings. Our first reading was 50, our second was 44, our third was 43, our fourth was 42, and our fifth was 38. In the QA column, you need a number higher than 1.24 cubic meters a minute and a number lower than 1.02 cubic meters a minute, and three numbers in between. Our correlation coefficient is greater than 0 .990, which means it was a good calibration.
Open the six latches on the inlet and raise the inlet up to lock it in place. Loosen the four plastic nuts and loosen the two brass thumb nuts and remove the frame. Next, install the filter paper with the rough side facing up. Replace the frame, but make sure the filter paper stays square on the filter holder. Reinstall the two brass thumb nuts, then tighten down the four plastic nuts. Unlock the inlet and lower it down onto the bottom pan, then lock the six latches. Open the shelter door, then plug in the TE5007 timer. Open the TE5009 recorder and remove the black pen cap. Then adjust the chart time by turning the chart drive clockwise to set the current time. Open the timer and flip the switch to on. Take the adjustment pen on the flow controller and turn the pen clockwise to set the motor speed to the desired flow rate from the calibration. In our example, the sampler set point from the calibration worksheet is 42. We set the flow on the chart to 42 to run the sampler at 40 CFM per our calibration. Turn the timer off and close the recorder. Turn the clock on the timer clockwise to set the correct day and time. Set the on tripper to the start time of the sample and set the off tripper to the end time of the sample. 